Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create these stunning, super sparkly rose quartz marble gel nails. So if you want to see how I created these, then just keep watching. Before I start, I just want to show you all the products I used to create the set and a few other bits and bobs that are new launches. So the first items are all Magpie gel colours and this is their Flower Power collection. These gel polishes are so highly pigmented, I really highly recommend them. If you haven't tried Magpie gel colours before, definitely get your hands on them. And this collection is a great one if you're looking for a variety of colours. It is full of super creamy, super rich and bright summery spring colours. It's perfect for this time of the year. And to go with their Flower Power gel collection, they also brought out a floral glitter collection. And all of the glitters that I'm showing you now are part of this collection. They have different finishes. You've got some iridescent, some super holographic, from slightly finer glitters to chunkier mixes. It's a really unique collection of glitters full of something for everyone. And I have used to create my nails a little bit of everything from these whole new collections from Magpie. I chose a couple of gel colours, a couple of glitters and a couple of shapes and things to mix into and create my rose quartz marble nails. So the next launches from Magpie are their hexagon shapes. Now now all their hexagon shapes have been designed and made to match some of their other glitters they have which is so clever and so great because you can customise your glitter mixes and mix these in with them and create a really chunky super sparkly glitter or you could leave them by themselves and use them in a similar way to how I have used them in this tutorial coming up. So there are some of the super sparkly glitters from the new Magpie collection. Next thing I've been kindly gifted by Magpie is these beautiful mirror tapes. They are sticky on one side and you can cut shapes out of them using scissors or craft punches and you peel the backing off and stick them onto the nail. They are so super thin and fine. I've got an example here using all the new Magpie launches. You can see I've cut little shards out and they come in four different colours. They are super iridescent and they kind of shift between two different colours and you can create some super unique designs. Here I've used a craft punch and punched little butterflies out which look so beautiful and they are just so unique. I've never seen anything like it. So let's get on with the tutorial. So I've started off by applying tips and applying a gel base ready to go in with my design. The ring finger is going to be an accent nail so what I'm going to do is just build up this nail with a builder gel and create my apex and structure. I'm then going to file and shape it so that it's ready for gel polish application. I will leave everything that I've used in this tutorial in the description box down below so you can find everything super easily. So if you're looking for any of the products mentioned in this video, check the description box down below and I'll leave all links to where you can find them. So I've just finished building this nail and cured it in my lamp. So I'm gonna go in and do my filing routine and then I'll be right back to apply the polish. So making sure I'm dusting off all dust and wiping it clean, I'm going in with Magpie Gel Colour Good Golly Miss Molly, which is their sheer French pink. Mine is well and truly loved. I need to buy a second bottle of it because I use it for when I'm doing my rose quartz nails. So I'm just going to use the Magpie Beauty Glitter Applicator Brush and the Magpie Glitter Myrtle from the new collection. Apply that onto the sticky layer, the cured layer of gel, and then go in and dust off with the Magpie Beauty Duster Brush. So that's the accent nail all done. You could change it up and apply whatever different glitter you would like and then I'm going in with the new shine bright magpie top coat this is a thicker viscosity super shiny top coat it is amazing I'm in love with it and I find you only need one coat over glitter which is amazing so now on to the marble glittery nails I'm using shine bright again as a base layer for my design so this is not adding to strength and the structure of the nail we're just creating the design that's going to be encapsulated within this nail so I'm using the magpie beauty nail art striper brush this is a super fine brush perfect designs for like this I'm using mamma mia which is one of the new gel colors and I'm using the striper brush to stripe this gel into that wet 
gel shine brights top coat so i haven't cured that clear top coat yet i'm using it to help blend the colors and glitters that i'm going to put in this nail and use it to my advantage so i'm just using my brush and swiping some of mamma mia into the gel i'm then going to clean off my brush and go in with magpie beauty gel color oma days which is also part of their new collection and again just using my brush to swipe that into the nail again i have not cured this this is all still wet i'm then going to take some of magpie beauty dust shelly i'm going to mix it into that shine bright top coat and i'm going to paint this onto the nail as well i still haven't cured this gel so again it's going into that wet layer of top coat we applied right at the beginning so i'm using that same brush to apply it in all the gaps where i haven't put the gel color now to add a little bit of dimension i'm going in with myrtle which is the glitter that we used on our accent nail i mixed it into some of shine bright top coat and i'm using my brush to apply it through the nail into random areas there's no pattern with this you can just be totally random there's no correct placement or anything you just apply it where you want it the more glitter the better in my opinion so i'm just using that same brush again to apply this on the nail then i'm going to be using some of the new magpie hexagon shapes and i'm just using my brush to pick those individual shapes up different sizes and apply them into that wet nail i still haven't cured this it's all still wet and because you applied it so super thin it shouldn't run anywhere it should stay in place which is great because you can take your time to apply these shapes into the nail and get them exactly where you want them once you've applied them in exactly the right place cure that whole nail for a full cure in the lamp we're now going to start the encapsulation process so i'm going to apply one layer of my builder gel over the whole nail go in with a bigger bead to create my apex and strength this is where you would then create your apex build the structure of the nail this is what will give the nail the strength and structure after i'm done i'm going to cure that finish file and shape and now it's time to top coat my favorite favorite bit ever i love this part and of course i'm going to use the new magpie shine bright top coat because it is super shiny i am in love and look how beautiful this design has come together and it's so super versatile you can switch up use the different colors in the magpie collection create some really awesome funky they're almost galactic designs they're awesome and i'm just gonna let you sit and watch me top coat the last two nails because this is my favorite part So there you have it, there are the nails all done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and loved how they turned out as much as I did. Look at that sparkle. I can't get over how beautiful and full of depth and magicalness these nails have. Thank you to everyone that's watched this tutorial and thank you so much Magpie for sending me all of these beautiful goodies. I'm in love. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Isabel May Nails like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next one bye